What is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation mobile technology. 5G promises lightning fast speed, barely noticeable latency, and vastly increased capacity. 5G architecture is based on a considerably higher next generation technology plane, with the goal of connecting everything and everyone people, buildings, cities, sensors, smartphones, robots, and drones. Data rate and latency in 5G? Depending on your 5G coverage, maximum download speeds often range from 1 gigabit per second to 10 gigabits per second, and latency, or the time it takes to send data, could go as low as 1 millisecond. How does 5G work? 5G technology is based on OFDM. OFDM means the process of coding digital data on different bandwidths and frequencies. Along with OFDM, 5G technology also uses 5GNR air interface. 5G signals travel invisibly through the air, and it needs different kind of infrastructure to get strong clear signals. The big cell towers of 4G will be replaced by complex web of large micro cell towers and many small cell sites across the landscape. Those small cells are small antennae and radio devices that connect and bounce 5G signals over short distances. These small cells will be located roughly every block or two and can be mounted on the streetlights, bus shelters and inside and outside the building. 5G signals travel from micro cell towers to small cell sites and finally to the end users through radio frequencies. The high band frequency used in 5G delivers very fast gigabit speed but it has very small range of few hundred meters and less and its signals are easily blocked by walls, trees, people and even weather that is why we need to install thousands of small cell site locations throughout an area to provide good 5G connectivity. Where is 5G applied? 5G is enabling innovation and making unimaginable happen. Faster connectivity and low to no latency is unlocking operational benefits in every industry on the planet. Imagine living in a world where people, gadgets, buildings, and infrastructure talk to each other. In this world, doctors can conduct surgeries from thousands of miles away. Cars drive on their own. Buildings, factories and cities can interact with you. And you can shop and watch live sports events in VR. The higher speeds and low latency of 5G is required for the effective use of autonomous robotics technology, wearables, and virtual reality. It offers manufacturers an opportunity to build smart factories that can adapt to changing market conditions quickly. 5G can enable remote surgeries. The low latency of 5G is set to revolutionize the healthcare industry, most notably in the operating theater. Experienced surgeons can advise more junior colleagues via video connection or could even operate the surgical device remotely. 5G can improve autonomous technology on the road and underground. The improvements to network latency will give applications and devices the ability to communicate in close to real time. This should ease the safety concerns of autonomous vehicles, providing them the ability to constantly communicate with the ever-changing environment around them. Virtual reality will become more viable, enabling remote working from global locations or an authentic live sports stadium experience at home. Virtual shopping in different cities of the world will emerge while downloading offline entertainment will be redundant. 5G can bring safer child monitoring, better surveillance, and smart houses. Imagine living in smarter houses that automatically takes care of your children by locking dangerous areas when no adults are at home. It will transform traditional infrastructure allowing us to build smart cities and distribute energy efficiently. What are the challenges in 5G? You must be wondering if 5G offers faster speed than 4G then why is it taking so long for big companies to support 5G services? Due to the type of signal that some 5G cell towers transmit, their reach is severely limited to devices in proximity. Many networks are operating on 5G radio frequencies called millimeter waves that can carry lots of data. So, while they support faster connections and smoother streaming, they're often limited to less than one square mile of coverage. Because of this limited scope, fewer users can access the network from a single cell tower. 5G signals are more easily blocked by common objects like trees and buildings. This means that many small antennae must be erected to serve more customers. 
Deploying such infrastructure across the nation isn't an easy task, and providers are running into issues with local community regulations. Another challenge is that some cities aren't on board with 5G. While some cities are working with telecom providers to install 5G equipment, others have policies and procedures that are proving to be roadblocks. Examples include zoning policies, lengthy permitting processes, high fees, and even aesthetic concerns due to 5G hardware being installed on street lamps and utility poles. There is a challenge with some phone carriers, although the not-so-popular ones have yet to release a wide range of 5G phones, and many consumers don't feel the need to buy them yet, since they cannot be used where they live or travel. Other people are also concerned about how safe 5G radio waves are, given that it's a new type of network that operates at different radio frequencies than older networks like 4G and 3G. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.